Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Evan Grow on YouTube, where we're all about aquaponics, hydroponics, and agriculture. Today I want to give you the rundown of a pretty basic and integral part of every aquaponics system, settling tanks. So every aquaponics system should have a settling tank and the primary purpose of it is to collect the larger particles that are heavy enough to sink to the bottom. Typically these things will be made out of cone bottom tanks, but you can make them out of anything, blue water drums, five gallon water buckets. It depends on the water flow and the volume of your system. The cool thing about settling tanks is they offer a little bit of creativity because you can design them in a bunch of different ways. But today I just wanna to talk about the two basic ones that I've seen used quite a bit and those are a radial flow settling tank and a swirl settling tank. So let's get into it. No matter what kind of settling tank that you use in your system, it needs to be able to collect the solids and keep them inside of it. Settling tanks, no matter what form they are, they always have an inlet pipe and an outlet pipe. Once the particles are in here, you need to find a way to keep them in there. And that can involve either modifying the inlet inside here or the outlet pipe. Let's talk about how a radial flow filter does this. So when particles enter a radial flow filter, they flow upwards inside of a circular container. And the particles go up the center of the circular container and they flow outwards. They flow on the radius of the container. So in my systems, I just use five gallon buckets that I fasten to the top of these cone bottom tanks. And the particles will flow up and they'll collect inside the bucket and then they'll sink to the bottom where I can then drain them out. Suspended small particles are still gonna find their way through your system and that's where you need a type of secondary filtration such as a clarifier or something else. Radio flow settling tanks are super easy to build and they actually work pretty well at removing the large particles. The next type of settling tank is a swirl settling tank. I don't have any of those in this system but I can still explain them to you. So when the water comes into a swirl settling tank, rather than going down and then up inside of a round object, the swirl filter will actually feed it in on an angle to the side. And ideally you wanna put the bucket over your outlet pipe so it protects it from any particles moving into the outlet pipe. The swirl will then encourage the water to kinda of go in a swirl inside of your tank to the bottom. Cleaner water will escape your outlet pipe. They both work. Personally, I, I think the radio flow filter works a little bit better and it's super easy to make. So before you get started with anything else in your system, plan on a way to remove the large particles through a settling tank, either a radio flow or a swirl filter. Hope that tip helps you guys. 